Superstitions, a handbook of folklore, myths, and legends from around the world by D.R. Mc McCloy. So, you, in the beginning, you do get his definition of a superstition, myth, legend, folklore, fable, parable, and urban legend, or urban myth. And it does go by continent and sometimes by country within that continent. So, like, Africa, and you get a bit of information on Africa. A bit more. And then, so you get... Um, for each continent or the country, um, you get like mythical monsters and then superstitions. So you get the superstitions, then the monsters. So it's <laughs> so it's like switched part way through. Um, but you get the name and a beef and beef brief introduction um of that like monster superstition. Sometimes um I think that one little paragraph is what you may only get about that creature. So, a Gogwe, G A G O G W E from East Africa, uh, is a small bit with red or yellowish skin topped with orangey hair that lives in the remote forests of the region. Not, well, not technically monsters. They are quite mysterious and have allegedly been spotted according to East African folklore. Um, sometimes you will get an uh, image of the creature. Um, oh, you also get gods and goddesses. So, African living legends. So, if you hit a man with a broom, he will become impotent unless he takes the broom from you and hits you seven times with, with it in return. Hearing an owl hoot means that someone in your household will die soon. This particular superstition is very common among many world cultures, not just Africans. It is possible that the belief spread via the worldwide slave trade in the 17th to 19th centuries. So it's just quick kind of superstition just saying there we go. So like in the uh, Hindu superstitions so sometimes like certain belief systems get their own superstitions. Um, Chinese Inuit taboos, weapons used for hunting land animals have to be purified by smoke from a seaweed fire before being used to hunt sea animals. Sea animals and land animals cannot be eaten on the same day. Um, so, yeah, <laughs> it's a good introduction to a variety of different monsters, gods and goddesses, superstitions, taboos. Um, so, if you just want a wide range, very beginner type of information, it's a good jump off point for the stuff if you do have an interest in different superstitions or different monsters, mythical creatures from around the world. So yeah, superstitions, happy readings.